Hey everybody. So if you're looking to upgrade your old computer to Windows 11 24H2, there is a more significant chance now that it may not run on that old computer. And that's not because your computer doesn't meet the Microsoft Elite Class System requirements for Windows 11. It's because of something else. So, of course, we all know um, that you can bypass the Elite Class System requirements. That's, I, that's what I call them. The minimum system requirements for Windows 11 that Microsoft officially has for the operating system, which we know as the uh, minimum of 8th gen Intel Core Series CPU or AMD Zen Plus. But we all know that we can bypass those requirements and run Windows 11 on stuff that's way older than that. Um, for example, I've run it all the way down to uh, an Intel Celeron D, I think 356 CPU on the Intel side of things and some flavor of AMD Sempron on the AMD side of things. <clears throat> but the thing is, with Windows 11 24H2, they are strengthening the requirements. So, what this means is, if your computer's processor does not support SSE 4.2, Windows 11 24H2 will not boot on that system. So, in case you're wondering, okay, how old are we talking here? Um, so if your computer has an AMD CPU that was released before the AMD Bulldozer, which will be socket AM3 Plus, for example, would be one of the sockets, um, you'd be kind of out of luck. For example, the Cucure Plexi, which is in the computer room in there, currently has an AMD Phenom 2 6-core CPU, which I do not think has SSC 4.2. I think that CPU was released in 2010. And, of course, AMD first introduced it in October 2011 before I'm reading online here. <clears throat> now, Intel, for example, first introduced it in November 2008 with the Nehalem uh, lineup of CPUs, so the Intel Core i3s, i5s, and i7s, those first um, generations of those CPUs have SSE 4.2. So, as you can see, um, there's a good chance that your old computer, despite not meeting the Elite Class System requirements for Windows 11, will still run Windows 11 24H2 with bypasses such as Rufus. But if your computer is old enough, for example, again, the Plexi, or another example would be my old Dell Instrument 1525, um, those computers, the CPUs, do not meet that um, requirement of having SSE 4.2. So, earlier this year, I posted a video. Um, on a similar topic of this based off what I knew back then and back then the rumors were that if your computer um, CPU did not support pop CMT um, You'd be out of luck, but if it did you was okay But it appears that Microsoft has stepped up the requirement to actually require SSE 4.2 which I mean you think about it It just comes back to the question. Okay. What's the purpose of these elite classes and requirements? Um, so, I mean, Windows 11 24H2 released three years after the uh, first release of Windows 11. Can still run on computers that are, uh, you know, close to a decade older than what's actually uh, listed by Microsoft as the minimum required CPU. It makes no sense to me. I mean, it makes no sense. It makes you wonder if there's a backroom deal between Microsoft and the uh, OEMs out there to strengthen the requirements of force people to buy new computers. Who knows? But yes, it does appear that if you want Windows 11 24H2, you will have to have a computer that is at least um, an Intel Core i3, i5, or i7, at least a Nehalem or later, or an AMD Bulldozer era system. And if your computer does not have that, you can continue running Windows 11 23H2 and receive support for another little while, at least until I think the end of 2025. And I, th I covered this before, actually, because uh, Windows 11 23H2 will receive support roughly, I think, a week or two after Windows 10 support ends. So, there you have it. So, it is unfortunate for those who want to run Windows 11 on older computers. Who knows, it might be a bypass, but then again, I kind of doubt it for something like this. So, anyways, that's right, so it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. 
In addition, I have a second YouTube channel. That's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.